Hey everybody, it's uh, Ben Eller here, and I'm here to show you how to play that middle section of Capillary and Crest by Mastodon, the big crazy instrumental part. Uh, it's really wild, it's really fun to play, and I've also noticed that there's no good tabs for it online, so I figured it'd be a good thing to show you guys how to play it. After I put up my cover video for this song, I had a lot of people you know, write me in and ask for tabs and everything, so I just figured this would be one better, just to show you how to actually play it. Let's talk about a few things before we get into all these riffs here. The uh, original Mastodon song is tuned down one whole step, like they usually do. So their guitars are tuned D, G, C, F, A, D, from low to high. My guitar, well it's not even my guitar, it's my friend Brent's guitar. Brent, thanks for letting me borrow this beautiful guitar. You're never getting it back, I'm afraid. But anyway, this guitar is in standard tuning today, so it's just E, A, D, G, B, E. I figured that would be better because most people have a guitar and standard laying around anyway. That way you don't have to tune down to learn all these licks and everything. But if you're playing along with the original, be sure to tune your guitar down one whole step. Okay, a couple other things about this. This middle section just uses the top three strings of your guitar. So it just uses your G, B, and E strings, and that's it. So that's all you need. You can play it on the ukulele if you like. Uh, it also uses hybrid picking. Hybrid picking is that technique where we use our pick and our fingers to strike notes rather than just our pick or just our fingers. It's a combination of the two. I love this technique. I never really messed around with it very much before I started learning massive on songs. But I'm really glad that I did. I use it all the time now. So this is a great place to learn hybrid picking if you've never done it before. And if you already are familiar with hybrid picking, uh, there's some really weird licks in here that maybe you've never done before. So it's good either way. You don't have to hybrid pick it though. You can pick it all, uh, and that's that's totally fine. You know, it's not like it's impossible to play without hybrid picking. So, if maybe you're like uh, I don't know, like Phil Kagey or Jerry Garcia, and like missing a finger, you're not you know out of luck. You you can play it all using your pick too. So let's check this out. This middle section of the song is divided into seven different licks, and I've just lettered them out here: A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So let's check these out one by one and get your shredding on. Lick A. Let's look at this first. I made a tab right here just so you can see it. If you're the, the tab kind of person, I know some people just learn best whenever there's a tab in front of them. So there you go. Here's that lick. This is the one that starts off the whole section. It's not too bad to play either. Here's that going to go. This isn't too bad to play here, and again, this is a great one to practice your hybrid picking with. So just remember, if it's the E string that we're hitting, pluck it. So what you're going to do is start off by hitting your open G and hammering on to fret number 9. With that. After you fret that note, pluck your open high E. So those are our first three notes. After that, fret your 10 here on the B, then you're going to do the open E, hammering on to fret 8. Your fingers end up kind of outlining an A minor chord, which some of you guys might recognize as feeling like a D minor chord, just our regular D minor chord like we usually play, hanger 18 chord right there, just moved up the neck to 9, 10, 8. So that's, that's the shape that your fingers end up outlining, is like an A minor chord. So again, here's how lick A goes. Open on the G, hammer on the 9, open E string, 10th B, open E, hammer on 8. Six notes, and it's in a triplet kind of pattern. Triplet, 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 triplet. That's it. Let's check out Lick B next. Here's our tab for Lick B. Moving along here. There we go. So there's B. So this guy right here is going to start off on our B string appropriately enough. There you go. Here's that sound.
It's also a six note figure, just like Lick A was. Here's the first three notes. You're gonna start off with your open B, and then hammer that on to fret four. The third note you're gonna play here is right here on your fifth fret G. Sounds kinda of spooky. So those are your first three notes there. One, two, three, triple that. After that, continue to hold down these two notes, and you're just going to arpeggiate your, your top three strings here. E, B, G. You kind of move that around so you can see it better. Maybe that way. So I start off with open B, fourth B, fifth G, plug the open E, hit the fourth B, fifth G. Relatively simple little phrase. The challenge here comes in um, the way that you fret that B string, because if you fret kind of too low on your fingertip, you kind of end up choking up the E string. So you might end up with something that sounds like with that E string being muted out. So be sure to really arch that fingertip up. That way you can hear that lovely E string ringing out like that and sounding nasty. There you go. After that, you return back to lick A. That's the first one that we did today. The one that outlines the A minor chord. Then you move on to lick C. Okay, so it'll be done lick A, lick B, lick A. Now we're gonna move on and do lick C, which is this one. This lick has a lot in common with B that we learned a second ago, so be sure to have that in mind. Here's the tab for C, okay? And here we go. So again, we can see that it starts off on the B string, just like B did. Plays three notes and then arpeggiates our top three strings, just like we did here for B. So these feel very similar. Check this out. You're going to begin here with the fifth fret B, hammer on the six. Play your 7 up here on your G. So now we're kind of locked into this chord shape right here. I've got this D note held down and this F note held down. After you have those, arpeggiate those top three strings, just like we did for lick B. So we do our first three notes, and then just pick what you got. E, B, G. So again, that's B on fret number five, hammering on six, seventh G, and then you pluck open E, six on the B, seven on the G. I'll do that real slow again here. That's it. So that's the first half of the instrumental so far. We've got A that we learned, B that we learned, a that we learned, and then C, the one that we just did there, A, B, A, C. It goes through those, I think, like four times, and then it does A once more before we move on to the really fast, crazy section in the middle of the song. Now, this is going to constitute our last four licks here, so this is going to be D, E, F, and G, okay? There's a kind of a trick to this, though, that makes it a whole lot easier, and instead of this being like learning four more licks, it's really only like learning two more because those same licks just get moved around the fretboard. So it's pretty simple. Here's D. This is kind of a long one, so I'll just kind of slowly uh, scroll this across here for you. So uh, let's see, here we go. Starts off there on our E string. Okay. And then the second half of the riff right here. Might be able to just pull that out so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, there you go. Hope that's visible. Might not be on your... Uh, mobile device if you're using a phone or something, but oh well, we're going to go over here anyway. Here's how I play this guy. This is where things get pretty crazy and pretty fast. That's D. This is the one we're talking about now is like D. Okay, let's check this out. This lick I kind of break into two halves. So let's look at the first half of D. It's going to begin like this. That's the first half of lick D. What I'm doing here is I start off with my E string open, hammer on the 10, pull off, 
So I've got those three notes all on one string, open, 10, open. Then I'm gonna hit my eighth fret here in my B, then back to my E. There's lots of high E in all these riffs. So that's the first, uh, the first lick that you're hitting here. Now after that, you're gonna play the eight on the B here, nine on the G, and then arpeggiate those top three strings, kind of like what we did a second ago. So again, that's eight right here in my B, nine on the G, then I arpeggiate my top three, E, B, G. So the first half of lick D then is gonna start off like this with our open 10 open thing on the E, and then our arpeggiation that we did. Okay, like I said, there's two halves to this riff. All that you have to do to learn the second half is move those very last two notes that we plucked up a whole step, so up two frets. So instead of going like this, those last two notes that we picked, just move those up a step, like this. Here how the only thing I changed was those last two notes. That's all there is to it. First half. Second half. So basically, uh, the only thing that changes is those last two notes. So instead of going 8, 9, open, 8, 9, you're going to go 8, 9, open, 10, 11. D, okay? Okay, let's check out E, moving right along here. E is pretty fun to play. It's, it's a really weird sounding one. Starts off there on the B string. Let's see here. There we go. Here's the one we're talking about, E. It's got a little slide, some E string stuff, some pull off. It has some pull off. That's not funny. It's more open E and then this strange little open string arpeggio. Let's check this guy out. I'm going to hold that back there so you can see the whole thing. There you go. So, here's how to play E. You're going to begin here with your 4th fret on your B string. Hit that guy and then slide it up 1 fret. After you do that, pluck that E string. And then pluck the, or pick the B again. After that, hit the 8th fret on the B. Pull off to 5. Open E, 5th B. So it's kind of like we do a lick, then open E, 5th B. A lick, open E, 5th B. Slide, E, B. Pull off, E, B. And then here's this funky little open string arpeggio that they play. This is going to go from open on my G, hammering on to 5. Then I go to my B string here, open to four. E string, open to six. Sounds pretty grody. Then back to the B string, just the way you did a second ago, open to four. So that open string arpeggio is open five, open four, open six, open four. So we have our first half of this, which had the slide and the pull off. Then our open string arpeggio here. I'll do this real slow here for you. So we got our slide, E, B, pull off, E, B, five, four, six, four. Okay, so that was lick, what was that one? E, that was lick E right there. So we have two more to talk about. We have F and G. 
But these aren't really like learning completely new licks at all. These are the exact same things as the last two licks that we did, D and E. They're just moved to a different position on the fretboard is all. Uh, makes it sound way different though. That's one of those typical Mastodon things to do. They like to come up with a riff and then just move it somewhere else on the neck. Uh, you can hear all kinds of stuff like that in like, like Old Messy from Remission. The intro to that song is that way. Um, as is the big instrumental at the end of Hearts Alive. It's just a few little licks that they just move to different areas of the neck. That's basically it. So now we're talking about lick F. Lick F. And as you can see from the tab right here, it's the exact same as lick D. It's just that everything is moved down a whole step or two frets if you want to think of it that way. Let's zoom in right there. Yeah. So again, exactly like lick D, just move down two frets instead, and that's it. So it sounds like this. Something like that. Okay. Ooh. Here's how to play it. Again, lick D was this one that we did a second ago. Move down two frets and you've got it. All the same fingerings, all the same uh, intervals between the notes that you're hitting. So everything's moved down two frets is all. So this starts off like this. Open, eight, open on our E string. Six here on the B, back to that E string. And then we had that arpeggiation that we did. Open five seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Open six seven. Open six seven. And then the second time around, remember we move those two notes at the end up a whole step. I'll do that slow again here. Open eight. Open. Six here on our B string, back to our E. Six on the B, seven on the G, then we arpeggiate. Next time through, we start off the same way. And then six on the B, seven on the G. Open E, eight on the B, nine on the G. So again, it's just those last two notes get moved up, and that's it. That's it for lick F. So like I said, F, exactly the same as D, just move down two frets and that's it. So that leads us to the very last one here, which is G, this very last one. It is exactly like lick E. Just move up seven frets and that's all. Lick E was the one where we had a little slide on the B, the pull off on the B, and then a little open string arpeggiation. This one. It's exactly like that, just slide up seven frets. So instead of beginning on four, we begin on eleven. Instead of sliding to five, we slide to twelve. Like I said, all the all the fret spacing, all the intervals and everything, they're gonna be exactly the same. Just move up the neck, play the same lid. Kind of get a little closer so you can really see that. That's basically all there is. That's all the riffs that are in there. You've got seven different ones. Go buy them really, really, really quick, but it's not too handy. So, yeah, I hope that helps and everything. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to uh, drop me a message or put something in the comments there. If there's something I need to go back over, uh, maybe something I didn't explain clearly enough, or if you just have requests for other stuff that I should uh, maybe do a little lesson on. But like I said, I hope that helps a bunch. I hope that's better than just giving you guys a, a tab. Maybe that'll give you a little bit more insight into it. And like I said, work on that hybrid picking stuff. It's fantastic. I can't quit doing it. Now that I've gotten used to it. All the high Eastern notes plucking. That's all I need to know. Oh, it's Zora. Wow, hi.
But anyway, I hope that helps a bunch. Apparently, I need to go let my dog out now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.